Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, let's do Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius. Um, this week I'm just going to stick with the order I did last week, and then next week I'll switch it up. I just wanted to get back on track with Monday, Tuesday. So, if you're new, oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you hear a little scattering, I have a tortoise that is walking around. So, Aquarius, what are we looking at? I just saw um, pink, pink twice. Okay, I know it's on like a sweatshirt and we have imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. But there's something with two. Could be a sudden chance, could be a partnership. Um, could be the letter P. I don't know. Or pink's your color. Okay, so we have fear. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you notice I was just like, okay. All right, so let's nip that in the butt. I realize that I'm testing resolve to live in the energy of love, but it's just fear. So basically, this is you're either scared shitless or you're just like gonna be like, screw it, I'm gonna go for it, you know. Um, to stay or live or to think with fear is. It's tough, guys, okay? So I, I really hope you have the courage to move forward in a situation here. Ain't no rest for the wicked. Mm-hmm, so on trees. All right, current scenario. Okay, here's a deal. I just thought of my catalyst. He is an Aquarius. Um... So I don't know if the past is coming back. If you're thinking about somebody, and I'm not saying, you know, by any means you're dealing with the catalytic energy. I mean, you can be, but meaning like, like for me, I wouldn't be like, oh, this one's coming back. Like, no way. Like we would never even get on the same terms. Like it just, it's not a thing, you know? So it, you know, it's, it's mm, I don't know why it was telling me to mention that to you. Maybe some of you would, eh, no, see, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's just continue. <clears throat> Sheldon. Want to say hi real quick? Say hi. Say hi, buddy. Yeah. You got the little, you got food stuff to you. All right, go walk that way. Go walk that way. Okay. Um, <clears throat> how he or she is feeling about you. <clears throat> this could be the one. Pay attention to red flags. Someone's not saying something to you. Because I just got <clears throat> one more for how he or she is feeling. It's safe for you to love what you don't see coming. So this is, there's a lot of fear. Somebody has trust issues. Let your friends help you. Yeah, see, I don't like that. For those who know me and how I read my cards, that like that's not that's not good. Okay, so I don't know if you're listening to other people. Possible outcome, please. Playfulness and current past. Whether it was two minutes ago, two weeks ago, two years ago, twenty two months ago. Current past. So you needed to make a decision, and you didn't, or you did, figure out very soon, clearly decide what you want. So it's like you've been sitting on something. It, to me, it's like, so you decided something, but yet there's still something holding you back, clearly. Ain't no rest for the wicked. So it's almost like, I don't know if you're fearing it or somebody else is fearing this. Aquarius, calling in your soulmate. So you're doing something to bring somebody around. Yeah, see, whoa. You definitely want a new start. So you're calling someone and they're watching you. It's almost like, I don't know if they're watching you move forward. This energy wants to ground a situation with you. Okay. 
Tell me about very soon. So yeah, some like this person wanted to talk to you and make a decision, but but didn't when it came to the lovers. Queen of Cups. So now, see, I don't know if something's over. It's almost like someone didn't make a decision. Someone didn't open up. Someone didn't choose. It's like decide what you want. So you, this is kind of telling me You you were emotional. You uh, you definitely shedded some tears. I had a few drinks, um, but to me, you're like, no, nope, this is over. And then it's like you have an energy watching you have a new start somewhere. Yeah, so you're, you're using your intuition. To me, it's like this energy wants to kind of block you from moving forward, too. They want to talk to you. They want to have a conversation. you got the five of wands. I don't know if you've gotten a big argument or you're currently going to get in an argument. I don't think you're keeping anything from anybody, per se, unless it's your feelings. Because I don't feel you being wicked over emotional here. You're coming in as like Gemini or water. You got Cancer Pisces. But like to me it's like like you tried it out or you had a couple drinks. Uh, you know, it's almost like I don't know how to explain that energy. It's almost, it's not that you don't care. You're just like over something maybe. Like, um... Or you were dealing with somebody who was over emotional, sunglasses, watching stock, and now it's the same shit. So I don't know if this person thinks you're crying over them, but I'm going to tell you right now, the vibe I'm getting is nope. So I don't know if somebody else is crying over them, over them, because you got the lovers right there. I can't feel that vibe like that. <clears throat> So you do have a new stat though, you do, you know, but I just, I feel like someone's going to come in and try to block it, but it's, it's like, they can't really block it. You know, like so you're dealing with somebody should have already made a decision or you should have already made a decision. Like to me, you already made a decision. You're moving forward. You know, the wheels turning, you're accepting change. You're not dealing with anything. And then you have this one energy that's like, ah, oh, how do I talk? What do I do? I don't know if it's therapia. You know, you just have a trust issue here. This doesn't look bad. You know, somebody's looking at you like, oh my gosh, this could be, this could be the one. Yeah, so it's like you're both kind of watching each other. I almost feel like you can't get on the same page though. Stressing somebody out. So uh, someone's really missing you or they're, they're lacking what they had with you. And this is just, it's trust issues. It's safe for you to love, please. So it's, it's almost the feminine here. You do have mutual love. I so didn't pick up on the feminine energy here. So you have a feminine that's worried to even get in another scenario with an Aquarius. I don't know who th who this is watching. I don't think this is linked to this. Because I was pay attention to red flags. So you have another feminine watching a masculine want to move forward with somebody else. There's mutual love here. There's a new opportunity to either rekindle or it's just like really getting to know somebody and the feelings are mutual and there's, there's love. So somebody definitely fears it's a trust issue. I'll tell you here though what you don't see coming. 
you got some friends, you got some family that's not gonna like your move. Like what decision you go into. Yeah, see the death card thinking about it, it's it's over. But somebody's like still wants to invest and wants to keep you waiting around for a situation. Yeah, see, it's like you were listening to somebody or have been and now you realize like shit. I've been staying in this situation doing absolutely nothing. And it's, I mean, there's a finality with somebody. The death in the world, wherever you were currently invested, that's dead and gone. But yet, this person, whoever this is, family or friends, was kind of keeping you feeling like something. Because they, they had no good intentions. Like, they were purposely holding you up. So yeah, you're in that whole... Someone's going to realize, you know, because it's what you don't see coming, you know, making better choices and love and life, self-love, self-care, being happier, doing the right type of things, making the right moves. They're going to realize somebody that was kind of like interfering with something. Or you're going to realize somebody was interfering with <clears throat> your relationship or what you wanted. Because this actually looks really positive. So a possible outcome is, is play, you know, play. Damn, and that's a whole lot of plan. You have quite the chemistry with somebody. That devil is, is fear. Someone fears falling in love. And it's like, I don't know if they already did, though. This is somebody at one point that... Uh, you do have an energy here that fear, fears rejection, too. So you probably know this energy. Lots of attraction between you and somebody. <clears throat> and I think it's more than that. It's, it's mutual love. <clears throat> but you actually... It's bringing me back to you have a feminine here. <clears throat> that actually is... I don't know, afraid to love. Someone who needs to speak up. Because I keep going here and I'm like... <clears throat> but then you have another feminine. Watching a masculine move forward. Things that make you go, mm. I hid who I really was for you. I regret lying to you. So somebody lied to you, if you're cross-watching. Lied about what they really want, how they really feel. It's just someone being nervous and scared. You have a great outcome. You got new love or a rekindling of something. Try not to let fear get in your way because you have something beautiful. You guys need to talk to each other. Look at that abundance, positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. So someone held you up from moving forward. Stop letting other people... Help, help hold you up, people. So stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. Yeah, you got to follow your intuition. You were listening to too many people and making bad choices. Got to follow your intuition here. What's your gut telling you? And then you got to stop fucking whining. I did this one and this one. So, I don't know. It's like, pay attention to red flags. This came up in another read where there was a feminine that somebody probably wasn't seeing something, doing something for the wrong reasons, being shady as shit. So, I don't know if that's her playing like, oh, this that victim mentality. No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. Have strength. Go change the world. If you, no, if you think you can tra change the world, then go do so. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's, it is that victim mentality. Somebody who cries, holds you up. Every time they feel you leaving or they know somebody else is around, they cry. It's that victim mentality. You got to be holding on somewhere, though. So I, I suggest you release. 
because there, there's something shady going on with somebody else. It's, and it's like, are you seeing it? I don't think you are. But you might because it's in the current position. And you're just afraid. you got to have the courage, you know, to, to be who you are. Love unconditionally. You have abundance here. You have beautiful attraction. It's, it's fear too, but it's, you know, it's fear of being rejected. You know, somebody definitely got caught in a lie. My fault, but I blamed you. Okay, so have the courage to move forward because you do have something beautiful right around the corner or it's, it's here. Okay, I'll see you guys in the extended. Love you. Bye.